welcome to my channel. This is um, an older painting from Diamond Art Club. This is Tears of Venus. I saw this and thought, isn't she pretty? I mean, isn't she pretty? Oh, she, yeah, she's gorgeous. So this is a painting that I got a little while ago. Haven't unboxed it, but you know, it's time. Here's the drill and that will be everything. I just moved a whole heap of boxes out of my bedroom to under the house because I have nowhere to put empty boxes. And I don't like squashing them either. Um, I kind of feel that they might lose their shape or something. It's not like I use them yet. Anyway, yeah, they can get eaten by the rats. All right. Now, let's give this a bit of a turn. And goodness. Here we go. Here's the sticker. And let's get that unraveled. We've got the old nine step sheet, single sheet. Let's give this a bit of a relax. Just about to quote Bingo from a cartoon, and she goes, "I'm just going to sit in my relaxing chair." This is one of the cartoons of a barbecue, and the other pups in the scene start yelling, "I want salad and sausages." Yeah, nobody appreciates the salad, anyway. Tears of Venus. Now I will grab the, gosh, the author, not the author, the artist. Tears of Venus is by Svetlana Tuk Tukanova. Um, I'm guessing that's a Russian name. Uh, she is a, but look at that. Isn't it pretty? You've got all these kind of paint swirls on top, but the poppies are gorgeous and the kind of daisy-like chrysanthemums. All right, it's 35 colors. This is the important bit. It's 35 colors, two ABs that I can see from a quick scan. I'm just looking for the sneaky ones that they throw in the middle or the end. Um, and I think this is potentially the first time I've seen Ecru. May not be, but I don't recall. I don't recall noticing it before. All right, while this is doing its thing, the canvas is relaxing, it's round. It is a 64 by 42, it is round, it has the AB. And the toolkit has a squishy, a tray. There should be two axes, there are two axes, there are some bags. There's a pen nicely wedged into the toolkit actually there. And I'm not feeling any multi-placers, but that's okay. I have gone off the chubby multi-placers. All right, generic, older style toolkit. All right, let's get into these. Now, I will look at the drills in just a second, but there is one loose bag, so I just wanna keep an eye on that one. And we'll take a look at this. Now, DAC are true to size. So, do not be afraid of that. Alright. She's gorgeous. She is just beautiful. So you've got these um, fried egg flowers. And you've got the poppies. There is a lot more gradient in these poppies than the impression is on... Well, it's not the impression. These kind of look almost um, wooden in their structure, uh, but there's a ton of color uh, variant in here. Svetlana has not kind of gone for the realistic um, image. Let's just say she has certainly used artistic license. All right, our ABs, our surprise surprise, going to be uh, yellow. It's 132 and 141. So the one is in the egg yolk here and right through. No, nothing in there. So yeah, the egg yolks. There's a couple of ABs throughout all the egg yolks. 
and the two is in the white so we've got the oh the two is in the paint swirls that's really cool okay and there's a two here no that's the paint swirl as well okay not all of the paint swirl this bit's not a two this is the ecru it, some of these other swirls and some of the swirls over to the right so you've got the white swirls and the ecru so it's going to be a bit of um highlights with the ab's up here and low lights with the ecru down here that's really cool nice job um diamond art club whoever has cobbled that one up as a mock-up um yeah nice cool she is gorgeous um i may put a blow up of the whole image depending on how we go but it, it, look it does it keeps going beyond my camera you've got this gorgeous blue background on the right hand side blue kind of gray let me see it's the um it's the drumstick but it's almost like they've got two different color backgrounds drumstick and the h really and the drumstick is 334 which is a blue and the H is a blue so yeah very much sticking with the blue tones a um, little bit of crumpling there that isn't so pretty but that's at the very edge so that's not going to be an issue um, I think it was just the way that it got through the machine the heat maybe affected it a smidge should be right all right I like, I like. Now she's not one that I'm going to rush out and kind of go, oh, I'm doing this now. Actually, what, uh, what I would like to do is a square. So I'm sure I have some squares left to unbox and one of those will be the lucky winner of what I'm going to kit. So let me pop that open and find the end. All right, so 334, this is the one up in the top right hand corner um, is your blue 3024 which is very close to an ecru color as it is 318 which is a gray and some more there is the ecru and there is the ecru and you know what until i actually saw the ecru um the it's a very pale gray 3024 anyway ecru 624 which is another mushroomy brown 939 our love hate relationship with our navy blue 3778 is a peachy kind of color 356 which is a kind of orange brown with a neighbor from next door 754 is a pale peach 803 is a navy 310 not much black in this one at all 666 in the poppies and the lips 414 which is one of those dark greys and 321 another beautiful rich red in the poppies now our lone bag is an 814 which is a burgundy and oh there's the ab's which way am i going i need this end all right 322 which is a navy well mm, sorry not a navy it's a blue darker blue 317 which is our very dark grey 312 is a dark blue 815 which is a dark cherry kind of wine 758 which is a peachy kind of colour 823 is a very very dark blue 498 which is another cherry red some gorgeous cherries in this 3830 is a pinky kind of brown 141 there's our ab let's see if i can get the sparkle cool uh 413 another dark navy or sorry dark gray Ugh, brain 3801 which is actually quite pink pinky kind of red 961 which is a paler pink 743 which is our usual yellow and it's got a neighbor from this 550 next door a little bit of purple with a neighbor and drag uh, 355 which is a brownie orange and 742 which is a um, darker orange 3799 dark grey 
3350, very much token colours in that. It's a pinky colour. 3371, which is a dark, kind of dark, dark, dark brown. And our AB, 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 which has um, a neighbour from elsewhere. And very much token scrambled egg. Um, sorry, not it's not scrambled egg. It's the egg yolk, but... What that's actually doing, and you can see it on camera, it's a dark orange, kind of like 742, but it's got a pink shimmer with the AB on it. So they're very close in tone. Don't know, 743 is going too far. But very close in tone to the 742, but it's got a pink shimmer with that AB on it. So let me fold these oh my goodness what was I right it hasn't folded into the twos naturally that's all unlike the other lot which did and let's smoosh that and there's the colour palette and Look, it's gorgeous. And it's very true to colour. We've got a couple of those um, egg yolks in the orange. All right. A lot of dark, darker blues than I would be expecting, maybe. But you've got her hair down in the middle. And you've got a lot of that blue up towards the um, top right corner. And then the greys all up to the top left. So there's a lot of shadowing behind the poppies, which is needing these darker blues. So yeah, it's going to be gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful to work up. Give me a second. All right, so there she is. Oh, no, she's blurred. There, there she is. All right, she's got a kind of sensual look with the half hooded eyes and the slightly open mouth and all that kind of thing happening. But uh, so you've got the white highlights in these. It's almost like she's got the paint bottle and has just, you know, swoosh kind of sw swept over her finished painting. Um, and then, you know, the gloop of the pink here. And this here is where the um, ecru comes through on this bit of. Uh, the paint blobbing um, so yeah really really cool but yeah lovely dark echoes here the blue here and the greys here I, I think that's gorgeous it's a really beautiful piece and I'm not seeing a signature necessarily on that I am I would assume that most artists do sign their work as um, their work but yeah it's a look it's an interesting technique that she's got. I, I really like it. All right. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at Tears of Venus. Oh, I should add quickly. She is currently out of stock. If you are interested in getting Tears of Venus and it's not saying it's discontinued, put your email in on the DAC website and they will email you when she's back in stock. And if you have gift cards ready to go or you have your money ready to go, then you can get her when she's back. Um, stock is moving pretty slow. Um, getting revamped or the numbers are pretty low um, as they restock and get new shipments in um, it will be nice when the world gets back to normal that's for sure all right thanks for watching and um, bye for now